loop line here, and I want to go over the link extractor add-on. So we go to add-ons and show available add-ons. If you don't have the link extractor add-on installed, find it in the list, hit install, and then once it's installed, go back to add-ons and link extractor. When it comes up, you can see some options along the bottom here. Firstly, I've got my connections, so I can set that to whatever I like there, but it comes at 20. I'm just going to leave that. Let me bring in some URLs from Scrapebox, although I can bring them in from a file, and then when I'm done, I get export options as well. And these are just URLs I just scraped up based off the word test. And then, so say I have test.com here. I can extract internal links, which are just links from the domain of test.com. If I want to extract external, that's links on the page there that link to other domains, not including test.com, or both. So let's just hit both, hit start, and then we can see just a quick synopsis here as it gives us our URLs, the number of links, and then whether or not it's completed or aborted and status and that sort of thing. Once it's done, I can hit show extracted links. It'll prep everything here and then I can go through here. I can actually edit them if I like and you know delete or paste things in if I wanted to, that sort of thing, and then apply changes, undo, redo, pretty basic. Once it's done, I can choose to export these to a file or export the fail to file. And so as if I just let it run through here, you can see URLs in the list 100, total links after duplicates removed. So it automatically removes duplicates, which is very nice. 4,465 links. So there in a matter of a few seconds, it extracted 4,465 links for us. And that is how the link extractor add-on for Scrapebox works.